a Prime Directive episode. Oh, we haven't had one of those in a while. Hey, Commander Fennec here, and our little treasure hunt across the galaxy leads us to a pre-warp society. Lucky they look exactly like humans, eh? Well, it seems aliens are impossible to find in the Screen Actors Guild, McClock. Kinda like how every planet the Stargate team went to looked like a Canadian forest. The joys of make-believe. So despite humanoids living on it and the suspiciously familiar plant life, we are presented with a planet that actually feels pretty alien right down to their special means of communication known as whistle speak. Nice idea, but it didn't really lead to anything in the story. You would have thought with the title of the story bearing the same name, it should have meant something, but no. I was expecting that at the end, the clue they were looking for could only be found through it. Kind of like during the Paradise Syndrome. Sadly, we didn't get any of that. I agree, it did feel a bit like a bait and switch, but I did enjoy the imagination that created a world and its belief system which evolved around a pretty bad violation of the Prime Directive. Changing the weather pattern of a pre-war planet is a pretty radical thing to do. You have to wonder though, considering how violent those dust storms are as seen from orbit, how did any humanoid species manage to survive before Dr. Krill's involvement 800 years ago. I'm puzzled how he managed to build meteoras without any locals noticing. The dust storms must have helped conceal their construction. When the show needs magic to happen, to get the story going. I'm sorry, Meteo, what now? Those stone towers the good doctor built to hide his weather machines reminded me of Greek meteoras, not mountains as they were referred to in the show. They're amazing landmarks with monasteries built on top of them. How on earth did they manage that? Faith is a powerful motivator, GG, and that makes it an interesting link to the religion this planet's natives created around those towers. I like that the story wasn't straightforward, with many surprising twists and turns. It was well constructed, with revelations that only happened thanks to positive interactions. And one heck of a crucial violation of the Prime Directive by Burnham herself. Nothing Kirk didn't do himself many times over. I even appreciated that the clue they were looking for was in a different tower. For myself, I didn't expect to enjoy the various philosophical discussions as much as I did. From Dr. Culber struggling with the concept of the progenitors, to the merit of still believing in gods when a higher truth is revealed. I'm actually quite pleased that we've started the second half of this season with a good story. And no sign of Maul and Lack. They can't be magically in the right place all the time. It was a story trying to grapple with big concepts, attempting to balance scientific knowledge, religious belief, and what actually works for you. And what works for you may not necessarily work for someone else. I enjoyed it. So I'm awarding Whistle Speak three paws. But tell me, what did you think of this episode? Share your thoughts in the comments. Live long, and may the force be with you.